Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now every day I find new technology that makes 3D printing easier and easier. And Artillery just released a new update to their line of printers that makes using 3D printers super easy. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at and reviewing the new 2021 Artillery Genius Pro. It has auto bed leveling and the prints are absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now the Genius Pro features auto bed leveling. It also has a 220 by 220 by 250 build plate. Uh, you're looking at a 0.4 millimeter volcano nozzle, ultra quiet stepper motor, super duper quiet. Uh, max speeds of 250 millimeters per second. And you're also looking at a dual Z access implementation. You do have full filament runout sensors, tempered glass for the actual build plate, uh, touch screen, like we've noticed before with the artillery line. It does have power loss recovery with, again, filament detection. It will print PLA, ABS, and flexible PLA, wood, PVA, as well as HIPS. Now, it does have a Titan Direct Drive. So it has a lot of cool features that are gonna allow you to really maximize, uh, again, the print material and also the type of prints that you wanna make. Now this printer has several improvements and the most obvious to me was the auto bed loving feature. And this makes the Genius Pro a great printer, not just for experienced 3D printers, but also for someone who is considered a first timer that is just starting to get into it because it takes out the calibration hassle completely. Now the glass bed and the AC heat bed can reach 120 Celsius in three minutes. Uh, and that's really important because that's gonna speed up, again, your startup to your prints, which some printers could take a lot longer. Now the bed cable on this printer has also been upgraded because now the glass bed and the AC heat bed on this printer can reach 120 Celsius in three minutes, right? And that makes printing on this a breeze. It's gonna speed up your printing. You're not gonna to have to wait that long for that bed to heat up. But also the actual bed cable has been improved. Uh, this is gonna prevent any kind of damage that you could experience when the print bed going forward and back. And as you can see here, it looks like it's really heavy duty. Now this printer is quiet and it's super quiet. I um, mean, also given the footprint, you don't need to have a dedicated space. So if you want to experiment with 3D printing, you can because this is something that you can use. You can put it like, let's say in the closet, take it out when you need to use it again because it's so small. And again, the quiet nature of this printer means that you won't be bothering anyone in the house. So put it away, take it out, set the print. You won't bother anyone. No one will even know it's running. Now this printer features a simple touchscreen that we're very familiar with. This is a very colorful interface that exists on the Sidewinder previous versions. Very simple to use and very responsive. Now in our experience, this printer just took a couple minutes to set up and to get printing, especially because of that um, auto bed loving technology. And this is something that's really important to me because um, we have brought in printers, we've tested printers, we've purchased printers for our hobbies. And sometimes you can spend hours, sometimes days, just trying to get the printer to work, to get that first layer down. This printer is super easy. Uh, the prints themselves just come out great. The quality is just stupendous. It's what you would expect from an artillery printer. And again, that from zero to first print just takes minutes. Now taking a closer look at the Artillery Genius Pro, I wanted to share with you uh, kind of like a scale comparison. You can get a sense between how this compares to something like the Artillery Hornet, which is something that we reviewed recently. Uh, great printer, great print quality, but you'll notice that there are already some differences. And the first one that you'll notice is where this filament, this filament holder is. The filament holder is on the side versus on the Genius is on the top. And there's some other changes when it comes to you know, the print head, um, you know, the, the overall filament loading solution, uh, but we won't get into that. We'll focus more on the Artillery Genius. Now there's several improvements to the Genius Pro that you're going to be interested in. First of all, the actual filament spool holder is sturdier than the previous version. All metal construction, really uh, sturdy in place. The previous version that I had on my Sidewinder, I actually ended up printing my own uh, just to improve that. This is just perfect. Uh, here you can see that you have your filament runout sensor here. Uh, your filament comes through here, gets loaded down. And at the very bottom, what you'll start to notice is that uh, the actual uh, print head is, is more enclosed, uh, but that's because you have your auto leveling guide found right here. So that's a, a great improvement. And I'm gonna share with you or show you a first layer print that I just stopped. And I just wanted to see, show you how clean it is. And this was using auto bed leveling. So there was no adjustment of the, uh, the springs here in the very bottom, the bed springs. Literally, it's just been out of the box. We did the auto bed leveling. And then this is what the first layer print looks like.
Now the initial print process has changed with the Artillery Genius given the fact that we have this auto bed leveler. So what will happen is as soon as the temperature has been reached uh, by the bed and the head, uh, it will move to the center, it will basically probe once or twice, and then it will draw this first line that's in the G-code and then start your print. Uh, here you'll notice that how clean this uh, first layer is, and that's what you're really looking at to have um, a great print. Now the other area that's improved significantly, in my opinion, is the heat bed. So we're going to bring the bed back and you can see uh, this area here, the cable, has been improved. The previous version uh, could fray and you see this with a lot of printers, especially if they don't have um, cabling like this. So now you'll notice that as I bring the bed back, you notice how the cable is guided in place and as it moves forward, it's guided in place as well, which means it should really reduce any of the errors or uh, failures that many have experienced with a lot of printers uh, due to the heat bed cable being damaged. Now the print quality of the Artillery Genius is really good. Check out these prints. So first of all, we did the standard Benchy. So we have a Benchy here. Everything came out really nice and clean, no stringing, right? So this is what it would look like. Look at that bottom layer. See how nice that bottom layer is? That looks great. We uh, can see the seam there, right? And everything came out nice. I really like this one. We did a standard XY cube, and I wanted to see what the quality would look like. And you can see right here that cube. And if we measure the cube just to see the overall consistency, 20, right? 20, 20, and 20. Slight variations, right? Slight variations, but still, overall, I give it a pass. So nice, clean. Z, X, and Y. And again, the most important thing to me, this is what it's like out of the box. So we wanted to go bigger. Uh, so now we have a bigger view and this uh, was support free, so no supports. Uh, this is what it looked like. This is the print quality. Uh, we have the seam here, which I'm sure I can clean that up. But again, this was just uh, using standard settings. Overall, great quality. So. What we said is, how does this compare maybe to the Hornet? I wanted to check the quality. Well, before we do that, I wanted to show you one more print. Uh, here what we did is we printed out this vase, and this is also on the Artillery Genius Pro. And I just want to show you the overall quality with this one, right? Look how nice that one looks. Okay. Look at the bottom layer. Great first layer. And then look at the finish at the very top. Okay. Solid. Now, we, uh, we do a lot of D&D in the house, and I wanted to see what a dice tower would look like if we were to compare a dice tower that we printed on the Hornet to a dice tower printed on the Genius Pro. So this is our dice tower, and you can see uh, this one was printed using a silk gold filament, right? You can see how clean this is. Uh, no supports on this one either. Really, really nice. I'm going to put this one over to the side for a second. Actually, we're going to leave it right here. And now this was printed on the Genius. Different filament. But I just wanted you to look at the actual detail and the quality. Let's go ahead and show you the top right there so you can see how clean that is. All right? Everything is pretty nice. See that right there? I'm missing one of the, uh, the draw bridges right there, but that's fine. I uh, still need to print that. But I wanted to show you the overall quality. Nice arch, no filaments again, or actually no supports whatsoever in this, but really, really clean. So as we take a look at these, and we, let's say we put them side by side, again, this one was printed on the Hornet, this one on the Genius. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Very nice. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Artillery Genius Pro. Fantastic print quality, stuff like this. And if you're into gaming like we are, you can print stuff like this.